Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Monday evening and this evening we are talking poverty. Um, there's a couple of articles I read today. I read a few, but a couple of sort of headline articles. And one of them was on the news when I was getting up this morning and it's like Britain is the poor man of the UK. We are the fattest in the UK. And the government saying that um, so many days of work are lost because of obesity um, and that something needs to be done about it. Um, we need to stop people from getting so fat. We need to stop people from getting so ill. We need to stop the junk food, etc, etc. And the other thing that was rather, I wouldn't say interesting, but caught my eye was that one of the MPs, I can't, I can't even remember his name, um, has said that we should, the government should start helping fund weddings, help fund marriages so that the cost of like booking a room or administrative costs, etc., are not as much, up to the value of £550 per couple. I'm like, what? Yeah, seemingly that's a good idea because people are lonely. There's a, a bout of loneliness going about, so we should all get married so that we're not lonely when we're older. Or so that we're not lonely when we're younger. I have no words. So, having read both of them at different times during the day, I was sitting in the sitting room this evening, having a nap with the dog because um, Kathleen's working a late shift. So I'm here with the dog and we'd run about and we'd played and I thought, right, I'll have a wee nap just now. And what came into my mind is maybe if you got rid of the poverty, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know that there's a lot of people regarding the obesity are like, this is the people on benefits that are sitting doing nothing every day, do you know, this is why they're good fat. However, you can't say that about children. And I know that the numbers of obese children are rising. And I personally think that that's got a lot to do with what they're eating. It's a lot to do with junk food and how much it costs to feed a family nowadays and how much wages have not risen over the past few years for a huge percentage of the population. If you are running day-to-day -day on a pay-as-you-go meter or if you've run out of electricity or if you're absolutely down to your last bits, you're not going to spend however long it takes to boil potatoes. You're going to get a junk food ready meal as cheap as you can and bang it in the microwave for three minutes. Of course you are. Doesn't matter how he much healthier it is to boil potatoes or rice or pasta or whatever. It's all right for me saying I've got so much in the freezer. Some people can't afford to run freezers nowadays. And as for the, oh, it will stop people being lonely if we encourage them to get married. Maybe if you actually encourage them to be able to go out and meet people first. You know, so that they can actually afford to go and join a club, afford to go out at the weekend, afford to go out for dinner, afford to join a club afford to actually have a social life. That might be a good way for more people to meet and more people to, if they wanted to, become a family. However, the costs of a family now are prohibitive on the wages that are the norm. And for all that they say, oh, the average wage is whatever it is, I don't even know what it is, you've got to remember that average wage is pulled up by the top 1%, by all your bankers and your stuff like that, the ones who are getting all these bonuses, that pulls your wage up, your average wage. You know, so many people are on minimum wage or just above, and the government's saying, let's give them £550 so more of them can get married and then they won't be lonely in their old age. Behave. That is just disgusting manipulation and I'm not impressed. But basically, when you look at it, 
both of those problems that the government are saying are big problems and we need to do something, both of them come out of poverty, both of them come out of lack of opportunities, whether it's lack of opportunity to have a decent meal, whether it's lack of opportunity to purchase the um, beginnings of a decent meal, whether it's lack of opportunity to be able to cook a meal because you don't have the electricity, or the knowledge of how to do some cheap um, filling meals. There's many people who, you know, have left school when they didn't do the home economics courses that I, I learned on, that we all did for the first three years of secondary school. There's many people don't have that. And although everyone can say, oh, well, go on YouTube, there's plenty there. If you're a young mum with a family, you do not have time to be sitting watching YouTube to find out how to make a healthy, cheap meal while you're running around looking after your kids, your husband and your elderly parents. I thought that was self-explanatory if you actually knew how people lived nowadays. And as for the, um, the other bit with the, the loneliness, we can't afford to go out. I mean, Patrick and I used to go out on a regular basis. We don't go out now. Go out for birthdays or something, or we'll maybe treat ourselves like we did to Sunday breakfast. You know, there's a whole lot of breakfast places around here are a tenor for a breakfast, and that does not include your tea and toast. So by the time you get to your tea and toast and your breakfast, you're talking £15 a person. Unless you go for the likes of Witherspoons or something, which is cheap and cheerful. And sometimes people don't want to go for Witherspoons. Sometimes they want to treat themselves a little bit better than that. So, yeah, that's, that's my thing. The government and all these surveys and everything who can tell us that, oh, it's all because people are sitting on benefits and doing nothing. It's because they're sitting watching YouTube or they're sitting playing games on their computer. Actually, no, it's because they're skint. It's because they do not have the money. They do not have the wherewithal nowadays to be able to enjoy a social life. All they are doing is working to live. And I looked up a little figure on Google, so we don't know how accurate it is, but roughly. I looked up Google and said, what was the percentage of earnings used for rental payments in the 1980s? It was 10% of your earnings. It's now over 50 for many people, on average. And they wonder why we don't do anything. He said it all, doesn't it? Now I'm going to go and play silly goodness with the with the puppy and take my slipper off of her. And I'll catch you later. Come on, baby. <laughs>